हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज योगी एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस अनदर सेशन ऑफ दिस चावा सीरीज राइट सो बेसिकली इन अनदर एपिसोड राइट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट रिलेटेड टू द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ऊप्स आई गेस वी हैव अंडरस्टूड व्हाट इज क्लास व्हाट इज ऑब्जेक्ट हाउ टू राइट अ बेसिक टेम्पलेट ऑफ अ क्लास एंड ऑब्जेक्ट वाला कोड राइट सो दैट थिंग्स आर क्लियर विथ यू ऑल एंड लेट स्टार्ट विद द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ऊप्स वी विल सी सम रियल लाइफ एग्जांपल्स एंड ऑल राइट सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दैट आई विल सजेस्ट एवरीवन इफ यू न्यू टू आवर चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब this channel and also if you will like this video then please press the like button as well right and also press the bell icon so that you will be notified first when we upload our new videos right so let's start so today we are going to talk about some principle of oops so let me write principles of oops right so the the principles of oops which i am going to talk are so there are four types of principles so first is abstraction abstraction second is encapsulation encapsulation the third thing is your inheritance inheritance and fourth is polymorphism so fourth is polymorphism right so let's discuss each and everything with some real life examples right so first of all we are talking trying going to talk about abstraction so what is abstraction we can say that it is a process process of exposing only the relevant information to the end user and we are trying to hide all the remaining uh, information that is all the irrelevant information so uh, like uh, this was a technical term right but uh, if i will explain with a real life example then i will i think that you will able to understand in a much better way right so let's take an example example for car i guess this example everyone gives so let me tell that example and after that i will give you one no, more new example right so that you can tell that example in an interview as well if interview will ask you so i can say is that uh, you can see uh, you can say that uh, if you have a car right you have a car correct and uh, a driver is there inside this car a driver is there and he is trying to run, uh, he is riding this car right so if any obstacle comes in front of this car any obstacle comes in front of his car so he will use that brake button right so he will try to press that brake button so that this uh, car will stop so that driver knows that by pressing that brake button he he knows that this car will stop right if there is any of any kind of obstacle in front of this car right but uh, do you think we should tell this driver that what is the internal braking mechanism which is used in this car due to which this car is getting stopped uh, do you think that we should tell this thing to this driver i don't think we it is not required right because driver only want to uh, stop this car and if i will say simply you have to press that button and the car will stop i think that's that's over for the driver right because he want this thing only he want to stop the car he will use that brake button that's it he don't require and i think i guess he will not be interested in knowing the internal mechanism right so those internal mechanism which i which we are not sharing with him and uh, only the relevant information we are sharing with him so this whole concept is known as abstraction right so like let me give you one more example because this is a very common example so like you have a phone right so you have a phone correct so like uh, you can say that you are using a, you are using some whatsapp facebook anything you are using and your charge is around 5% in your smartphone there is around 5% charge right so you want to give charge to your phone so that it will re uh, increase to 100 right so what you will do you will take the charger you will take the charger you will plug this in your switchboard and through this cable you will try to charge your phone right you will try to charge your phone so when you are plugging this in your smartphone your phone will start getting charged right the battery inside your phone will start getting charged and after one hour you will see that one hour one and a half hour according to the capacity of your charger it will be uh, it will come up to 100% charge right so like do you require like from your personal experience i will say uh, do you think you should know like what is the internal mechanism inside this charger what is the internal mechanism is there inside this charger what can kind of transform uh, yeah, transformer and all is used so you are not required to know all those things right so simply you will see that i am plugging this and i am getting my charge done 200% that's it so that was my relevant information and how it is getting charged how the ac to dc is converting and all that is not required for you so those are irrelevant information so yeah this was everything about abstraction so let's talk about encapsulation so in a technical term if i will say so encapsulation is wrapping of data and functions 
together into a single unit that is uh, i think a code snippet i showed you right on the last day related to class and objects so we write some code right of a program and we take some variables we write some methods right we take some variables and methods so wrapping of data and functions together into a single unit that is in a single block okay so this pro op operation is known as encapsulation so we can take example like this you have the charger and you have a smartphone and you're trying to keep both of them inside a box so basically when you try when you purchase a new smartphone you will get a box right when you will open that box inside that you will be having a charger cables some manuals and a smartphone right so this box is acting as a encapsulation like it is encapsulating the things inside it okay so yeah this was related to encapsulation and let's discuss about inheritance but uh, let me give you one more example like encapsulation so one more thing i can say is that encapsulation and abstraction are pretty much similar they are pretty much similar the one thing is one different is there encapsulation is majorly used in security purpose so um, i can give an example of an atm machine i can give an example of an atm machine so like in an atm machine uh, a student will come he will have a debit card credit card atm card anything he will try to put that in this card reader and a screen will be there he will type some amount and he will write his uh, type his pin code and after some processing and all you will get a cash through this uh, outlet right and you will collect the cash and it will go on but you will never think like how the some internal operation is happening how they are calculating the total number of amounts which they pressed how that amount is coming not required we are simply uh, putting our card writing the pin and amount we are getting the cash that's it for the mindset right so the internal mechanism is a i think irrelevant information for the user for this end user but here in atm we require some security because it is related to money right and we should have some security issue uh, level in this case so yeah that was the difference between encapsulation and abstraction a major a basic difference not much so let's talk about inheritance so we can see say in an inheritance one class can use all or uh, half or you can say some properties or full properties of another class so basically we have a class a okay this is my class a we are having one more class b so we can see that like this i'm making an arrow like this so basically it means that class b can use its features class b can also use the feature of class a either he can use all the features of a or, or he can use partial features of a right so if a class can use the feature and property of an another class this process is known as inheritance so if i give a real life example so i guess you know a brand name xiaomi right you know a brand name xiaomi or am i right so this is a brand name right but inside this uh, i will say we have a smartphone for example redmi note 3 uh, i guess this was uh, around three years earlier model redmi note 3 right this was one of the model for the xiaomi phone right now uh, this smartphone is having some features like uh, 3gb ram 32gb rom like this having some features now we got a successor of this smartphone and let's say that is redmi note 5 right that is redmi note 5 so we can say that this redmi note 5 will have all the features of redmi note 3 having all the features of redmi note 3 but there will be an upgradation that is instead of 3 gb we are having 4 gb ram and instead of 32 gb we are having 64 gb rom right so there are 1 GB of upgradation in RAM and 32 GB upgradation in ROM. Otherwise, the rest features are same. So we can see that, say that Redmi Note 5 is using all the features of Redmi Note 3 and it is also having some its additional feature or we can say some double tap feature, some double tap feature which is not there in Redmi Note 3 like I'm assuming, right? It can happen, it is there but I'm assuming double tap feature is not there in Redmi Note 3 but it is there in Redmi Note 5, right? So these are some additional features which are there in Redmi Note 5 otherwise redmi note 5 is using all the features all the redmi note 3 as well as plus some additional features so we can say that or we can have some more successors like redmi note 10 i guess and or i think some more models are there i didn't remember so like this and redmi note 10 will have some additional features and also having some features of redmi note 5 as well right so this hierarchy is there so like uh, this is known as 
inheritance correct so this was an example of inheritance like we have a lot type of inheritance so we will discuss those things as well like uh, different types of inheritance so we will discuss those things as well so let's start with polymorphism so the last topic which we have left is polymorphism so we can see that polymorphism if i say in a technical terms so using a function for more than one purpose is known as polymorphism so you will be given a function and you're using that function for more than one purpose so uh, let me show you an example because without an example you will not able to visualize the things right so you have a phone right so you have a power button right so side of your smartphone you have a power button so with that button like a uh, with that button you can do two operation that is either you can switch on your phone or you can switch off your phone you have two options but with a single button right with a single button you can either switch on your phone or you can switch off your phone or i can say in the screen you will double tap if you will do double tap so if screen is on if you will double tap the screen will be off right and if screen is off you will double tap the screen will be on right so there is a double tap feature that is um, so we have on off feature so we can say that with a single button i'm able to on and off my smartphone so like there is a single feature that is a single function which is being used for more than one purpose that is for on and off more than one feature purpose right two two purpose as well as we have a volume button right upper volume button and lower volume button for let's take an example of upper volume button that is to increase the volume so that button is used for increasing the volume right to increasing the volume as well as to take the selfies right so we can take the selfies using the uh, volume up button as well and we can so there is two features uh, like we can implement two features with a single button we can increase the volume we can take the selfies so like same button is used for more than one purpose so basically same function is used for more than one purpose so this is the concept and this is the real life example related to the polymorphism so i guess all this uh, principle of oops is clear with everyone i guess right with some real life example i don't think you will forget any of the principle like what are their meaning and what are their examples i guess you are able to understand everything so i guess till now everything is clear with you all guys and um, yeah that's it for today's video we will continue some more topics related to the oops concept in the another video right so yeah that's it let's meet in some another video if you like this video then please hit a like button and yeah that's it chalo milte hain kisi next video mein tab tak ke liye bye bye